I am going to discuss bell staging which is used for staging of necrotizing endocolitis. So what is NAC? In prematurity or in asphyxia or in maternal cocaine abuse, blood supply to the wall of small intestine decreases so epithelial layer is shut off. This is because of necrosis. So air enters inside in the wall of small intestine and there is bleeding abdominal distension and decreased bowel so. So let's discuss what is bell staging. Stage 1 is suspected case of NAC and here uh, there is an intestinal necrosis. It is categorized into stage 1A and 1B. 1A is occult bed in stool and 1B is gross bed in stool. Let's discuss stage 2. Stage 2 is definite case of uh, NAC and uh, in stage 2 there is uh, air in the wall of small intestine. It is categorized into st uh, 2A and 2B. 2A is pneumatosis intestinalis and 2B is uh, pneumatosis portalis. Pneumatosis intestinalis means air in the wall of small intestine and pneumatosis portalis means air inside the portal tract. Let's discuss stage 3. Stage 3 is advanced case of NAC and stage 3 there is air leak out of small intestine. It is categorized into 3A and 3B. 3A is peritonitis and ascites and 3B is pneumoperitoneum. Let's discuss um, its treatment. Up to 3A medical management is done in which NPO and antibiotics is given and for stage 3B surgical surgical management is recommended. For stable patient laparotomy is done and for unstable patient draining is, draining is done. Let's discuss some images. 2A is pneumatosis intestinal is air in the wall of small intestine. For 2B pneumatosis portalis air inside the portal tract air inside the portal tract this is diaphragm this is intestine and this is portal tract and this is liver for stage 3b pneumoperitoneum the football sign is given air just air present just below the diaphragm so so thank you